Hi there, my name is Riley Hansen. I'm currently a student attending Utah Valley University. And this semester, one of my professors proposed a statement to us um, on how we could improve online or virtual learning experiences. I know this is really important right now as we're, as we're stuck at home. And for me, the way that I thought we could improve those experiences is by making resources more accessible to students. And I, I kind of wondered to myself on why, why this was so important or how we might be able to do this. And to me, it was important uh, because finding and having those resources uh, like PDFs or readings or, le or videos or other lectures that are given are huge helps when trying to complete a course online um, without actually being able to communicate face to face with that professor. So I wanted to jump in and show you a prototype that I created um, in hopes to make those resources more accessible. On this home page here, this is what you would come to um, when you first logged in. It's going to have a list of your courses, a calendar on the side and a to do list again with your upcoming assignments. First thing in the middle. It's going to have a dashboard which shows you all the classes that you are currently enrolled in. It also has a cal another calendar feature here. You can select dates to see upcoming events, upcoming assignments. It's going to show you recently graded assignments so you can jump in and see how you are doing in those classes. There's also a mail section where you can communicate directly with your professor to get extra help if needed or to communicate with other students that are in your classes. Um, to again get further help or assistance. If we go back to the home page here. Um, you can access courses by either clicking directly on that picture there or going to the dashboard and clicking into the class that way. It's going to load up a page here where it has each unit or chapter or module separated individually. On the side, you can access class lectures that have been previously recorded. Um, for extra help, you can access Microsoft Teams so that you can join and talk and communicate with your professors one on one or for a class period. You can also access your grades to see how you are doing in that uh, in those individual classes. Again, it has your calendar feature on the side with those uh, to do assignments or other events that will be coming up on those specific days. Now you can jump into these chapters. It's going to have all of the assignments, readings, PowerPoints, lectures, anything needed in order to get you through unit or chapter one um, easily. Um, there's only going to be that one place for professors to put those resources um, in order for you to complete those units instead of having to jump between 10 different pages in order to find um, what it is that you should have read or should have had in order to complete that assignment. You can access the reading quiz just by simply tapping any area in between the name or the arrows on the side. And you can see here this reading number one is in a different font color. That's going to be a link back over to that reading one PDF um, so that you can go back if you if you forgot to do the reading. It's an easy way to jump over to that section to do that. Again, to start the quiz, you just can select that start button there, or you can use this next button here to move to the next assignment. In this case, it's going to be PowerPoint slides that your professor has um, given you in order to help you succeed on the next assignments or quizzes coming up in that chapter. Um, or you can go backwards. Um, back to this main page or to previous assignments if there are some listed in that chapter beforehand. Um, now I hope that by doing this again, it limits the area that professors are putting those resources or those documents needed for you to complete the, the chapter or the course um, so that you're not having to guess or spend so much time wondering where that reading PDF was that you were supposed to do. Um, and so with a simple layout like this and being able to simplify it down into those, those chapters or those units, 
that it will make those resources more accessible to students and more easy to locate and find when they're completing their assignments. Thank you guys for um, tuning in and, and taking a look at this prototype that I created and I hope it helps you. Thank you.